I'm gonna show you a quick tip in DaVinci Resolve that will allow you to slow down any clip regardless of the frame rate it was shot in. This means you'll be able to slow down clips that were shot in 24 FPS or similar lower frame rates like these. Alright, so I already have a few clips here on my timeline. These were shot in Vietnam a few years ago. I chose them specifically because they have loads of motion and I want to show you exactly how this effect works. So, as you can see, this was shot originally at 24 FPS. Let's me, let me play this back. So this is how it looks normally. All right, now I'm gonna reduce the speed to 50% and let's see how this looks. Yeah, as you can see, it looks very choppy because it's skipping frames, which is normal because this was originally shot at 24 FPS. All right, so now we go into the inspector tab on the top right corner and we're gonna toggle retime and scaling. Then on, on here, on retime process, we change this to optical flow. And then on motion estimation, I usually choose enhanced better. So let's play this back and see how it looks. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't look choppy anymore and it's not skipping frames. It actually looks very decent. So yeah, now let's go on to the second clip that I have here. This is another one with a lot of motion in the frame. So let's play this back and I'll show you exactly. So 24 FPS, let's play this back. This is how it looks normal. Now, let's put this at 50% again. Yeah, as you can see, the same thing happens. It looks very choppy and it's skipping frames, obviously. So, let's go back and go into the, our Inspector tab and under Retime, let's do the same options. Optical Flow, Enhanced Better, and let's play this back. <laughs> Look at the difference, it's crazy. I mean, it looks decent. You can see some artifacts here on the bike. Uh, if you look closely, there are some ghosting or something like that happening. Um, this is what you get with this effect sometimes. Uh, this works a lot better when you have less motion, but I'm gonna show you a trick that might improve the frame a bit on the next clip. All right, so moving on to the next one. We have this original clip again, sh uh, shot at 24 FPS. Let's play this back. This is how it looks. Okay, so now let's change this to 50% again. Play it back. Yeah, same thing again. Choppy and with frame skipping. Looks awful, really. <laughs> so now, let me just stretch this up. So now we go into the inspector again and then optical flow and then enhanced better. Here we go. As you can see, it looks much better, but still, if you look at his feet and his legs, it's doing this the ghosting again, um, which is what you get with using this effect in clips with loads of motion. So yeah, look closely at his feet. There's this ghosting effect going on, which is normal when you have a clip uh, with loads of motion. This effect will make things look like this. If you, even if you check on the bike, look at the bike here, there's some kind of ghosting. So what you can do is to improve this, instead of choosing enhanced better, you can go with speed warp, and then on resize filter, you choose sharper. In my opinion, this gives you better results, but when I play this back, <laughs> it's almost impossible. I either uh, render it before or export it and import it again. So I'm gonna show you, I already done that. I've exported this clip with those exact settings and I'm gonna show you the difference. So yeah, as you can see on his feet, there's barely any ghosting happening now. It's much smoother than it was before. And now let's check the bike. Yeah, same thing is much less than it was happening before. Honestly, it's very hard to tell this wasn't shot at 24 FPS originally. So yeah, that is a little trick that you can do to improve your shots. Obviously, this will work better when you have less motion, like I said, but if you use these settings, speed warp, and then resize fill to just choose sharper, you will get much better results. I only recommend to use this when you have loads of motion and you have that ghosting effect going on, like you can see here. Otherwise, I will usually go with enhanced better 
and just leave it this at project settings and you have this playback. So yeah, this is an incredible feature in DaVinci Resolve that can get you crazy results. You'll always get better results when you plan ahead and shoot in the correct frame rates. So if you know you're gonna slow down a clip in post-production, just make sure you shoot at 50 or 60 FPS. But if by any chance you shot something at 24 FPS and you later decide to, to use slow motion, this is a very nice lifeline that DaVinci Resolve gives you. So yeah, I hope this video helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed watching this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next one.